Hello everybody, my name is Karagulova Mirim and I'm a teacher of Satpan Baitin Tishov Memorial Asian Medical Institute. Satkan Baitin Tishov Memorial Asian Medical Institute, it is a single institute in Kyrgyzstan which provides high quality and 100% free of corruption education. Because um, in order to become a good doctor, you must have good knowledge. You must have perfect skills because being a doctor is a very difficult, responsible, and at the same time, noble. And if you want to deserve honor to be a doctor, you must work hard. You must have a huge knowledge and your skills must be perfect because doctors have no second chance and they must do everything perfectly from first attempt. And in our institute, we realize this. And in training future doctors, we are guided by ideology of high quality education and education which is free of corruption. So uh, let's start our Latin lesson. And today we are discussing topic structure of anatomical terms. Medical terms can be of simple and complicated structure. So one word terms, name is saying itself that these terms consist of one word, like vertebra, ala, os, only one word naming anatomical structure. But uh, in most of cases, one word is not enough to indicate and describe anatomical parts. And in this case, we use multi-word structured medical terms. And uh, these type of terms, uh, they have two structures. First is noun and adjective structure, which is also known as agreed attribute terms, where adjective, which is describing noun, is agreed with noun. Agreed means adjective matches in gender, number, and case with described noun. Second type is noun plus noun structure. These type of terms also known as non-agreed attribute. Here, second noun describes first noun. And these two nouns are not matching, not in gender, not in case, and nor in uh, number. So let's uh, discuss first type of uh, anatomical terms like noun plus adjective structure. Here, arteria profunda. You know the rule that adjective must be used in same gender number case as noun, like nominativus femininum or ligamentum flavum. Both of the terms are used in nominativus neutrum form or musculus longus. Both adjective and noun both are used in nominativus masculinum. Arteriae profundae. Both of terms are used in genitivus femininum form. We can know this by endings a. Ligamenti fla v. These terms are used in genitivus neutrum. We can judge it by their genitivus endings e. Musculu. Musculi longi. Also, adjectives are used in genitivus form, but masculinum gender. So sometimes noun and adjective uh, type terms uh, can contain more words, can contain two adjectives. For example, musculus, gluteus, maximus. All these three, two, two adjectives and one noun are used in nominativus masculinum. Or another example, sutura, palatina. Next example is sutura, palatina, transversa. Si, a, palatina, a, transversa, a endings. It means that all these adjectives are used in nominativus femininum. Tuberculum, um, neutrum gender noun. Obturatorium, um. Neutrum gender adjective and posterius, comparative neutrum form. 
So it means all these terms in this word combination are used in nominativus neutrum form. Now let's look noun plus noun structure terms, where first noun is used in nominatives, second describing noun is used in genitivus form, like fossa cranii, like fossa of cranium. Fossa is nominativus femininum, cranii is genitivus neutrum form. See, as you see, these nouns are not matching nor in gender, neither in case. Next example, skeleton membri. So member of part of skeleton means nominativus neutrum skeleton and membri genitivus neutrum. Membrum, we change um to e and construct genitivus, if you remember from previous classes. Next, angulus mandibule, angle of mandible. Angulus masculinum noun in nominativus form and mandibule femininum noun in genitivus form. Uh, now look at the next uh, uh, terms which contain two noun and one adjective. Noun, apex, pulmonis, sinistri, apex, nominativus noun, now pulmonis noun in genitivus form, sinistri, adjective in genitivus form. In next example, tunica mucosa oris, Noun, nominativus form, adjective nominativus femininum, and oris, noun, genitivus form. Or, processus temporalis osis zygomatici. In this term, we have two nouns and two adjectives. Processus temporalis, noun and adjective, both used in nominativus form. Osis zygomatici, noun and adjective, used in genitivus form. Musculus sphincter ani externus. See, musculus nominativus, sphincter nominativus form, ani, noun in genitivus form, and adjective externus, adjective in nominativus form. Or next, musculus flexor, uh, excuse me, musculus flexor digiti minimi brevis. Here we have musculus, masculinum nominativus noun, flexor, it is a noun in nominativus form, digiti, noun in genitivus form, Nominatives form will be digitus, genitus, we change to e and got genitivus form. Minimi is adjective in genitivus form, so minimus, nominativus, superlativus, and minimi it is adjective, uh, genitivus, superlativus, and brevis, adjective in nominativus. So if we translate these terms, it will be like apex of left lungs. Um, uh, tunic of mouse mucous membrane. Um, then processus temporalis osis zygomatici, temporal process of zygomatic bone. Musculus sphincter ani externus. So uh, external sphincter muscle of anus. Musculus flexor digiti minimi brevis. So uh, flexor uh, muscle, brief flexor muscle of uh, smallest uh, finger. So today, guys, we discussed with you structure of adjectives. Uh, I hope my lesson was informative for you. Thank you for attention. Goodbye.